<sighs> what a sad day in the gaming industry, in the gaming world. Oh my goodness. You guys see the you guys see the title up there. Red Dead Redemption 2 is delayed until spring 2018. What a fucking bummer. What a bummer. But you know what? I did a video on this. I want to say a couple days ago. I did a video on this. Matter of fact, I want to say a week ago. I did a video on this. And now and this is exactly what I was afraid of. That same video I did with Far Cry on you know, the location of alleged where it's supposed to be taking place at. And now it has been confirmed in Montana. And just like how I've been saying this for the longest. And it would make, a, it would, it would make sense for Far Cry to want to go into the westerns because they obviously knew that this game was going to be delayed so that's why they was going to make this move into releasing a product releasing in the wild wild west time frame or well, according to that article crazy right crazy and i said this i said i was exactly afraid of this i said yo hopefully this article is not accurate hopefully this article is not dead spot on and hopefully red dead redemption 2 is not going to get pushed back but at the end of the day, like I said in that video, we didn't see no gameplay footage. We didn't see no trailer. We didn't even see no screenshots at the moment. Now we see screenshots, but at the moment, we didn't see screenshots. We didn't see anything. We didn't see anything. Rockstar was pitch quiet about every single thing. This is crazy. It's like, I don't want to say it's like I could foresee the future because at the end of the day, when I read these articles from numerous websites, a lot of these articles are dead accurate. They're dead accurate. And these are insiders from people that's in the industry. They not, they may not, all the articles that I present you guys are accredited and spot on. I'm not one of those guys that's going to send you a link or post a link to the description of a, 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 a of a, a website that's not even <laughs> that's not even like from this time frame like what i'm saying is not even from this country not throwing shots but i'm just saying but i was really afraid that this was going to happen people i really was and i hate when this happens now for those of you who are out there listening whenever you hear of an announcement of a, a game or i don't want to say a, you hear announcements but you you read through articles about you know like the sites like the kotakus and the ign's and stuff like that whenever you hear them talk about a game that's going to be released and whenever you see uh, um i don't want to say trailer but whenever you see a posting about the the game actually coming out and alleged and uh, alleged release date don't feed into the hype people do not feed into it don't go on twitter acting crazy because at the end of the day if you don't see gameplay and you don't see follow-up from the actual source then you already know what time it is you already know what time it is same with crackdown we still didn't see gameplay, you know, we still didn't see recent gameplay of that game yet. So that's, as far as my concern, Crackdown is, is the next Dr. Dre detox album. For those of you who listen to, to rap and stuff and hip hop and stuff like that, and you, you kind of get the point that I'm trying to come across because Crackdown, you, it's never, it seems like it's never going to come out because every time it, it, it's talk, it's well talked about but you're never going to hear or actually see the damn release window and you're never going to actually see the damn game hit the plat you know what i'm saying hit, hit the streets crackdown 3 has been talked since 2013 2014 we've been seeing it e3 after e3 after e3 and we still haven't seen it on the shelves we still haven't seen more gameplay of it except for cgi that's all we have seen and it's it's a damn shame, people. It's the same concept where I was trying to get a point, you know, before before I got on this YouTube shit heavy. I was saying the same thing to myself and my friends about Scalebound, you know, before it got canceled. I mean, everybody's going all ham and going crazy at that time period about Scalebound being, oh, this game is going to be A1 and this, that, and the third, but we still didn't see actual gameplay. All we was seeing was fucking CGI. If you see CGI, it's not guaranteed. And that's how I feel. And that's that's what I'm going to go by. And that's my fucking quote. If it's, CGI, if it's a CGI trailer or if it's a CGI image that you see at E3, it is not guaranteed. It's only guaranteed if you see gameplay. For instance, God of War. That shit is guaranteed because we see game, we, we see actual gameplay of it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm really disappointed that I was right. I'm really disappointed that that website that I was reading on my last few videos ago that it was dead at dead spot on accurate 
Shout out to Far Cry 5 that's going to come out. An actual game that's going to drop. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to see it on E3. But anyway, after my little rant, let me get on to the announcement. Rockstar Games had just announced that Red Dead Redemption 2, the long-awaited sequel to 2010's Red Dead Redemption, has been delayed from the original fall 2017 release date window to spring 2018. Rockstar apologized for the delay in a statement on its website explaining that some extra time is necessary to ensure that we can deliver the best experience possible for our fans to make up for the delay. The company also released a new batch of screenshots from the Red Dead Redemption 2, which should at least help ties fans over now here's the pictures that i'm going to show you guys here's the picture here's picture one and here's picture two now along with the announcement of delay rockstar promised to the fans that would get more information about red dead red dead redemption 2 this summer and with e3 right around the corner it is likely the information will be coming sooner than later now according to this article that i am reading from the verge and i will be posting the link in the description as i always do every single time i feel like rockstar is full of shit now i know i may get some flam towards me you know what i'm saying some f bad feedback towards me for saying this but at the end of the day i really feel like they full of shit there is no way in hell that they're going this game is completed i don't give a fuck what anybody says this game is finished they are holding it back because they still making money from grand theft auto 5 they still make it from grant they still making money from grand theft auto 5 and they're still getting money from them shop packs that you that a lot of people i don't want to disrespect anybody but a lot of people keep buying so why would they rush out a new video game this holiday season when they could push that shit back if they still making money off they old shit think about it they got people still buying grant the photo 4 because of the backwards compatibility you know what i'm saying and people were still buying and buying these shop packs for grant the photo 5 and still doing all these crazy mods and still purchasing the game over and over and over you got people who purchased the grant the photo 5 twice they bought it for the, the 360 then they bought it for the xbox one or vice versa it's crazy so it's it's you got to think of it as a business standpoint that's what you got to think of it so you you got to take all of that into consideration as well and the reason why i say that they full of shit is because at the end of the day these motherfuckers they last the last game they dropped grant the photo 5 came out in 2013 so from 2013 all the way to 20 fucking 17 y'all telling me what, what was your, what was you guys doing from 2013 to 2017 other than making patches and making bullshit add-ons to grant the photo 5 online what was y'all doing you guys is making too much money for this slow ass productivity. For real, man. Y'all need to get get together on like get it together on this. Now, don't get me wrong. I am a patient gamer, but they going they they going fucking overboard. They really are going overboard. And y'all need to, y people y'all got to stop it, man. Stop supporting these old ass games, man. Demand for new games and new finished quality products. I'm being real. I'm speaking the truth right now, man, because I'm sick of this shit, man. Rockstar take too long with their games to be released. They need to learn. And you see, I don't want to compare them to Ubisoft because Ubisoft is, 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 is nowhere, is no comparison. But what I'm trying to say is they need to be more like Ubisoft as far as productivity wise, not quality game wise. Because quality game got, game wise, it's like, it, it's no comparison. Don't get me wrong. The quality is amazing when it comes to Rockstar and their games. But as far as productivity, go straight to Ubisoft. The motherfuckers spit out four games in one year. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's a smart business tactic. But, I mean, at least they pushing out games frequently. Frequently. There's no fucking four to five, six, seven year gap. Like, what the hell? The last game they dropped was a generation, was last generation. That got ported over to this generation. Like, what are they doing over there? Oh, they only got like one or two, three fucking studios? All this money they generating? And they can't say, oh, making these good quality games is so expensive, so we, 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 cut the shit, man. Grand Theft Auto 5 on the first week sold box numbers. Box numbers. The game sales that they made for Grand Theft Auto 5 is close to the, the amount of money the Avengers Part 1 made in the first fucking week. So they, 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 they pushing box office numbers right now, man. I'm talking. I'm comparing. I'm comparing Grand Theft Auto. Grand, the, the amount of revenue Grand Theft Auto Five has made is is making movie numbers, man. Movie numbers. 
possibly more than movie numbers. So there's no fucking way. There's no there's no excuse for y'all productivity to be this fucking slow, man. I don't care what nobody says. Word to everything. I don't care what nobody says. Rockstar, get it together, man. I love you guys. I love the games. I love the good quality games. And I'm not saying that I'm an impatient gamer. Y'all bugging. Get it together, man. This is heartless. And I'm preaching over here. I'm giving out the word. I'm preaching the word right now, man. Because this it, it, it has to be said. <laughs> it really has to be said. Real talk. This is crazy. This is straight bullshit. My listeners that's out there, appreciate the support. I love you guys. I love it. Shout out to my boy T Reaper. I see you. We going to link up and we going to make this happen as far as um as far as our shows. We going to get together. We going to link up on these podcasts and we going to make it happen. So all my viewers out there, we got we got y'all. We going to we going we going to create some blue magic on this channel. Real talk. We're going to create some blue magic and we're going to generate some realness on this channel. My voice is going to get heard. And I appreciate the people that's out there that's already listening. And y'all already feel what I'm feeling. Because as a gamer, this is, this is unacceptable. Rockstar, please, please, please step it up as far as productivity. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. Loud. That's all I'm asking. This is Heartless and I'm out of here. I'm preaching the word, 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 wise word of the wicked man on YouTube. Please don't hesitate to like or subscribe. Please don't hesitate to please leave me a comment in the comment section. I want to hear your opinion. I want to hear your views. I want to interact with you guys. I appreciate the support and the love and I love you guys. This is Heartless over and out. Peace. Give it to me.